Face to Face Transceiver Review 2011 BCA Tracker 2 but software version 4. Okay, so I've got two transceivers to find. Uh, they're separated by 20 metres, so it's a pretty simple search scenario. Uh, effectively, two single searches done one after the other. So I go into search mode. Okay, so we're picking up the first transmitter. Uh, the track thinks it's 40, 45, 50 metres away. Wants me to head straight forward. Okay, so I'll keep the light in the middle and go forward. 41, 40, 39. So the numbers are praying pretty constant at the moment, but it is asking me to go to the left a little bit. Go to the left. Okay, numbers definitely going down now, so I'm heading in the right direction. So I just go forward, keep the number in the middle, keep the light in the middle, make sure the number keeps going down. Okay, 20 meters away, asking me to go to the left slightly. 16 meters, 15. So I'm starting to slow down now as I reach 10 meters. Tone change from the tracker at 10 meters, alerting me to the fact that I need to slow down. Get the light in the middle, very careful below 10 meters to always keep the light in the middle. So I come in on the best possible line, coming down towards the snow. Tone change again at three meters, keep the light in the middle. The uh, tracker is also telling me at this point that um, this red light on the side is alerting me to that it's picking up at least one other signal. It doesn't count transceivers the tracker two, so it's just saying it is receiving another signal. At the moment it won't tell me about that signal because it will guide me to the strongest signal. It will always guide you to the strongest signal, it will never do anything else. So it takes me right in, okay, and then I can do some bracketing. You can bracket a little bit quicker with the tracker two than some of the other transceivers because it updates its display much more often. Okay. So you find that it's more difficult to overshoot in this pinpointing phase. So I found that transmitter. I can't use masking, doesn't have it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use special mode, which is an unobtrusive button here. And what that does is it, rather than just tell me about the closest transceiver, it will tell me about all transceivers that it can see, as long as they are in front of me or behind me. It won't tell me about ones that are off to the left or off to the right. So it does conceal some information, but it allows me to point the tracker like a torch to see if I can see any other transmitters. So I do a bit of a sweep, it's telling me it's receiving another signal. Okay, it's slightly intermittent, but out this way. Okay, there I've got a signal, 18 metres. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, BCA recommend you either walk on that flux line for as long as you can, or you go three quarters of the distance in that direction. Okay, so what I found, the for me, I found the best thing to do is to walk that number of steps rather than try and work out what three quarters, if that was 19 meters, three quarters of it, you know, my steps are not quite a whole meter, so that works out pretty well for me. So I'm gonna walk 19 steps in this direction and then turn off special mode. Okay, so I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Turn off special mode. Okay. So I've got a light eight. I've got a transceiver so eight point eight meters away. Wants me to turn to the right. Okay. Turn to the right. Get the light in the middle. Go forwards. Eight point three nine. Okay. So I already know I'm going the wrong direction. Turn one hundred and eighty degrees around. Get the light in the middle, start walking forwards. 9.6, okay, seven, okay, so now I'm five, now I'm going in the right direction. Okay, I'm under, under five meters now, so slowing right down. Coming in, right under two meters. Okay, and then I'm coming in with my standard bracketing that I've done before. Okay, so that is how the, uh, Tracker 2 uses its special mode rather than digital masking to get you to a second buried transceiver.